Who says oxtail with butter beans? Come on into Jenny's walk and let's put this divine dish together. Oxtail with butter beans, marinated overnight and cooked with red wine. Come on in, let's get cooking. Okay foodie, so let's season up now that oxtail. So in here I have my green herbs. Lots of green herbs, bandanier, podina, scallion, marjoram, parsley, cilantro. I have red pepper, I also have a hot pepper, ginger and garlic. So here I want to break up a dry chili. And to this I want to add some ginger garlic paste. In goes that. Some soy sauce. This is a lovely ma um, season here from Maggie. I love to use that. And I always like to use my Jamaican ginger from Jam Coco ginger juice. There's also that ginger lime juice that I used recently. So in goes that. Give that a good mix. And we're going to marinate our lovely oxtail. There you go. Look at that oxtail. I have a nice trimmed and it's uh, really pink and nice. When it's red, I think that's when it's a hard, hard meat. But when it's pink, I think they said when it's pink, it should be a little more soft. So as you can see, all I use here is herbs. There's no spices. I didn't add any spice to this. I want this to marinate well in the, in the herbs. And when we have to cook it, that's when we're gonna be adding our spices. Good massage. And of course, you all know I like my red wine. So here I have a Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm going to eyeball about a good quarter cup of wine. Yeah, that's about it. And this is going to marinate this oxtail overnight. Nice massage. Put all that love into it here from Jenny's Walk. And we're going to make that divine oxtail with butter beans. The oxtail here from Jenny's Walk. Hello to all my new foodies, my new followers. Welcome, where all the fun begins with great flavors. Here I have my heavy iron pot up on the heat and I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. My pot is hot already, not too much. You're just gonna go in with a little bit of oil because you all know oxtail have a lot of fat. I try to trim as much as possible out. So here's my oxtail. I took it out of that marinade. I want to add it in, that oil. And this is the marinated ones in. So what you're going to do is just going to fry this up a little bit. For like five minutes. So let's take a look now and flip them all over. So now I want to add my bay leaf and one dry chili and onion. And I want this onion to fry nicely in there. Take a look now and see what's going on. Lovely, our onions is fine, really beautiful in there. So at this point, my dear foodies, let's start adding our flavors in now. So in goes some tomato, chopped tomato. And I want to add back some of that wine in there. There you go. And here is that marinade. All that marinade, we're just going to put it in now and let this fry and burn down. So we're going to lock in all the flavors into this oxtail. Let's take a look now. So that's boiling really nicely. So now I have some beef flavor I want to add back into my oxtail. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. And here is my salsa, which is going to give me that color, that ruku. We all know that ruku, ruku oil. Well, this is the ruku powder. And it also carries a lot of flavorings in there too, like bandania, cilantro, garlic, lots of flavors. And there we go, we got a lovely color there already. But I want this to burn off because you know, Granny will say burn the fresh water off or else the meat is going to taste fresh, bad, bad. <laughs> So we're going to listen to the upper heads, which is Granny and her cooking and let this fry down a little more. Okay, foodies, the pot is calling me and as you can clearly see, all the oil is here now. So now we're going to add water to boil it. So this is the water from that marinade, some left back there. And we don't know how hard this oxtail is, so we're going to add enough water in there. We're going to give this a good mix so everybody will meet each other in there. They're going to communicate and let all their flavors out. 
the sasson and that beef flavoring. I did not add any salt. We're gonna wait until it's time for the butter bean to be added on, and then we're gonna see if we need salt. So we're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna put that lid on, and I'm gonna go on medium heat and let this slowly cook. Okay, foodies, let's take a look now. And this, this oxtail looks very soft now. So I like the texture. It's not as tough. So here is my butter beans. So you're just gonna add that butter beans in, all of them. Get back in there. And I'm gonna give this a good mix. And I'm gonna let this boil in here now. This is from the can, so it's pretty much soft, but I want it to boil up for like five minutes so all the lovely flavors could infuse into this lovely oxtail and butter beans here from Jenny's Walk. Don't forget to like and share this lovely vid with your friends and family and join in into Jenny's Walk. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's wait now for five minutes. Okay, my foodies, there we go. Our lovely butter bean with oxtail here infused with that red wine marinated overnight and you give it a good cook there i didn't use any coloring agent at all we only use that sasson that has that ruku powder in it the ruku seeds that powder it up really nicely uh, if you wish to use that gravy that master gravy you could go ahead but i showed to you a demonstrate here in this cooking that you didn't have to use any of that look at that doesn't that look divine great idea here my dear foodies that you could enjoy with some white rice some rice and peas rice and bean cook up rice whatever you wish to enjoy this lovely um oxtail <laughs> forget it now oxtail with butter bean from jenny's walk another marvelous recipe great flavors coming out of jenny's walk don't forget to like and share this recipe with your friends and family thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking